Hello there. Welcome to my Destiny 2 Witch Queen, Witch Queen Vision? My Witch Queen Reaction video. This video will be completely unedited. It was all recorded live on my Twitch channel, which I will link below. There'll be some text on the screen just now because we're going to do the fancy thing saying, hey, I can do this video editing thing. Uh, thanks everyone that came out for that stream. It was absolutely amazing. I have stayed up to almost 5am in the morning gaming. So we did good. We did good for day one. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more. So be sure to like the video, do the subscribe thing, give us a wee comment and especially come check us out live on Twitch. Uh, there'll be other links as well for Twitter. You can hit me up there, tell us what you thought of the reaction or the actual event as well. And uh, thanks for checking us out. And I'll see you on Twitch. See you on Destiny. Compose yourself. Compose yourself. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening, chat. It's happening now. Let's do it. Welcome, Guardians. This year, we're celebrating our journey with you. Whether you joined us 30 years ago, oh, or if it just century. started today. This game is in our blood. The Destiny team is full of Destiny fans. Folks who came here because Destiny was their favorite hobby. Folks who log out from work in the evening and log in to play with their clan. The hey, team hey, we hey. have today is committed to relentlessly upgrading this game that we all Time love. To get those we are ready. happy with just another mission. Instead, we want to push the limit of quality you can expect in an action MMO with uniquely Destiny experiences like Expunge and Presage. We are committed to delivering the best mission content that you can play in any game with a friend and having the best feeling action game, period. And this shows through in the passion that we see for Destiny 2. Since we declared independence two years ago, the Destiny community has grown so one stars on over fire. 20 million new players. And it continues to grow faster than we ever could have predicted. We're grateful to be a part of this amazing growing him? community that you all have created. CBD. You represent Destiny. You help make it better every year, and you are so welcoming and supportive of every new guardian that sets foot in the tower. And only a handful a of, of us are gonna be up here today. Most of them are in their homes, at their desks, working hard to bring the next part of Destiny to life. Thanks for the follow, It's a huge honor Enjoy representing such an incredible team and introducing the next chapter of Destiny 2. So, without further ado, this is the Witch Queen. <laughs> Look at that. Holy shit. Truth is a funny thing. Does it live in the world? Or in the mind? That he's got grenades. Is it constant? Or can it be bent? <laughs> bent. Who decides what is true in this universe of light and dark? There is no greater power. Tell me. Little lights. We go see her. Yo! Truth now. We won't get the hide. It is. Holy shit! They're like ghosts, resurrecting the hide. No way. No fucking way! What? No way! A fucking zero hype! What the fuck? 22nd of February, let's go! Oh 
my God, James. Sabathun <laughs> is serious. I think she's the most dangerous villain we faced yet. Seven years we've been building up to this moment, and she is finally stepping into the spotlight and showing us who she really is. They've got a what fucking... What we know about light and darkness is proving to be way more complex than what we previously thought. There are so many lies, truths, and revelations that we're going to get oh to. Oh, my we're fucking Lord. I mean, we're paying off these narrative threads as that go ways. all the way back to Destiny's origins and we're supporting it with the best content that destiny has to offer definitely and we've got a lot of awesome content to show today and let's start with the most mysterious destination yet yeah. oh sabathun's so throne world this is an uncharted wonderland of secrets and lies it's this place that she's created in her own image the surreal and majestic Sabathine's light blessed world. world she has this castle that she rules from it overlooks this dark swampy underbelly with this lone pyramid <laughs> ship out there it's the future oh, world fuck. she wanted to create built atop the darkness that she left behind. In Throne Worlds, they're a deep part of Destiny lore. Powerful entities create these pocket universes, and when we're there, we have to play by their rules. But now, our own light powers are being used against us. <gasps> I mean, she has this whole army of Hive that she's ascended to the light and brought along with her. These are the Hive Guardians, and they are the backbone of her new army. Hive Guardians. We've talked a lot. Let's show a little. Let's take the first ever look at the Witch Queen gameplay. I... Savathun, the Witch Queen. Hive God of cunning and lies. After the death of her brother, Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course. But out of strategy. <laughs> Whoa. In her greatest trick yet, stealing our most sacred resource. Look at that place. The one thing we thought she could never touch. The light. Fuck. Oh, that's so good. I believe but I fucking hive. Look at that, that's like a sword spear. Pew! Yo! <laughs> Fucking ninja mode activate! <laughs> yes! I cannot wait just to reach out and just crush a hive ghost in my hand. Yeah, I mean, we've been defined by the light I'm for excited. so long. This is uncharted territory for us. I mean, we're in strange new places. Like, the throne world, it's haunting, but it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's There's a lot to love. There's a few things we saw in the trail that we haven't Holy talked about yet. Savathun and her Lucent Brood. This is the biggest threat Guardians have faced yet, so we need to find new weapons to match their power. The Glaive. I love this thing. It's brutal and elegant. It's this new energy weapon with melee abilities, mid-range projectiles, and defensive capabilities. It's our first ever first-person melee weapon, and it is such an awesome tool for the battlefield. I just realized that's what it was about, that first-person melee. Whoa! The glaive feels so good. Just jump in and unleash these brutal melee combos and transition right to an energy blast. It's really powerful and has a lot of utility. Yeah. So, we've told you about what the glaive can do. Now let's talk about how you're gonna get your hands on one. These weapons don't come out of chests at the end of missions, and you're not going to find one roaming around the throne world. Your first glaive is not going to be found. It's going to be oh, built. Yes, fucking weapon it. crafting is coming to Destiny 2. What? Now, chasing ah! weapons has been an integral part of the Destiny Pursuit game since the beginning. And over the years, we've added more deterministic paths to get the roles that you want on guns. Think things like umbral engrams and the raid chest. Weapon crafting unlocks the freedom to choose all that and more. It gives us ultimate control over the guns. Now, this is a combat-focused crafting and progression system. That means the more you use these weapons, the more objectives you complete with them, the more you'll level them up, and the more powerful they grow over time. And at launch, here's the awesome thing. You'll be able to craft all Throne World weapons, new raid weapons, and the seasonal weapons. There's just a ton of stuff to do in this system. And the Witch Queen <laughs> is just the beginning of weapon crafting. We have plans to add more craftable weapons, both legacy and new, 
throughout the year. We've seen and we've talked about a lot of really cool features, but let's get right into the meat of it. Let's talk about the Witch Queen campaign. I'm gonna cry. Weapon crafting. Weapon fucking I crafting. I love campaigns. Godroll farming. They've always been a cornerstone of the Destiny experience. They're rich, deep stories interwoven with big combat sequences and memorable characters. They take us to remote worlds in our ever-changing universe. And so we're putting extra care into the campaign for the Witch Queen. We want you to feel those goosebumps when you step onto the throne world for the first time and come face to face with Hive Guardians. Look at this, dude. And every one of the missions has its own unique fantasy. Like, what does it feel like to storm a castle or just go straight into the depths of hell? If you like games with standalone yeah, campaigns maybe. like Doom, Titanfall 2, God of War, and Halo, then the Witch Queen is for you. So, in addition to our classic normal mode, Legendary is our tougher, aspirational version of the campaign, where the enemies hit Legendary harder campaign. and respawning is heavily restricted. So every battle is a gut punch. Every boss is a worthy adversary. It's gonna hurt. You might tap out, but if you persist and you get to the end, your time will be well rewarded. Whether you want to play solo or with a fire team, the difficulty will scale based on how many people you bring. Before we go, one last trip down memory lane. I remember camping out the Predator for Destiny 1 because I just had to have the ghost. To me, it was like the symbol of destiny. Boy. <laughs> if you care about that stuff like me, you're going to want to get your hands on the collector's edition because you're going to get a hive buddy to go up on the shelf with it. We hive ghost. Yo. Is that a mixer? A mixer? Are we going to wall run? I don't know if they said wall run, man. That is neat. Wow, that was so cool. Oh, I'm man. so I'm so excited for this one. Hold and that's me. not even everything that's in there. Too. Weapon crafting, legendary items, campaign mode. One of the best ones. The glaive, first Colors person melee, ranged been, weapon. Like this really perfect that's really fucking cool, jumping man. point to enter the worlds that we build. And actually we lifting like in-world objects there? and putting them in players' hands is just, it's just a good feeling. We don't just put random items. Everything that is a in there serious piece of kit, man. Push the narrative, Actual. and there might be some puzzles. To Meds all thanks that well. prime sub as well. Prime, welcome to the peasant kit. Crafting raid weapons, man. So at this point, you can see Savathun has been one of our greatest threats, operating behind the scenes for years. You may have heard of her brother, the um, Taken King, but Savathun is the man. most dangerous being we've ever faced. She's cunning, elusive, she works in the shadows, so in a way, Savathun is new to all of us. Exactly, and now it's time to finally see this legend reveal herself and change the Destiny universe forever. But when we talk about the overarching story of Destiny, we don't Chris, just mean the plot lines or characters in the future release. Months, the narrative is a guiding force in Destiny, and we're calling on its rich history of world building, bringing that to the forefront and growing it in a bold new direction. So when you join the game today, you'll experience an immediate call to action alongside millions of your fellow guardians. During this past year, we watched the results of your actions play out across Destiny's seasonal releases. You've redeemed old foes, brought former enemies to the bargaining table, learned that there's always more than one side to every story, and built alliances no one ever thought possible. And on the largest scale, you'll experience a vast, living, interconnected world of stories that's striving to a greater end. We need you, Guardian. You'll experience this alongside a massive community of guardians, release after release, together. This is our universe's cosmic purpose. This 10-year journey we've been on since Destiny 1, it's drawing to its dramatic conclusion. The light and darkness saga will end. But make no mistake, Destiny 2 will not. We're building not so much to an ending, but more to this transformative moment for Destiny 2's future. Last year, we announced the Witch Queen and the following expansion, Same Lightfall. Facts. And now we're excited to announce the release after Name Lightfall, better deal. the final okay, chapter better in deals. the Light and Darkness saga, Destiny 2, the final shape. It's going to be Whoa. one wild, continuous ride. Yes, and that ride starts with Season of the Lost. Not only is it the prologue to the Witch Queen, it's your first opportunity to interact with Sabathun. But rather than spoil it for you, why don't we take a look? The final shape. If we are to survive the coming storm, the tower and the dreaming city must stand united. We are surrounded 
A ring of spears pointing inward from the edges of our system. This is your season of lost. The Witch Queen is no less dangerous now than she has ever been. That was cool armor. We must uncover whatever secrets she knows with the time that we have. of the ascendant plane and guide my people back to me reckoning 3.0 yo taking weapons the shattered realm and force at work in this plane guardian look at that place Aether's scepter of linear fusion a trace rifle a stasis trace rifle for violence is needed. <laughs> what is that? EDZ touch, but in the Taken realm. There's four guardians there. Petra? Was Petra up to you? That stasis trace rifle cool. What was the other thing? It was like a... We're dedicated to like creating an interconnected world that puts your guardian at the center of the action. We're reaching the end of one. They were getting an energy the special. Of another. The days of fusion? Destiny's biggest story moments happening in lore pages is long gone. I mean, Mara's return has been hinted at forever, and now it's happening in a season. One of the changes I'm most excited about are the updates to the light subclasses every season in Year Five of Destiny Two. We're adding aspects and fragments similar to stasis. We'll be starting with the Void Did subclass have update. Arranged Void Melee the there? Queen. But the Witch Queen is only the beginning of what's to come. And Season of the Lost is the prologue to that story. It starts off with Marasov's return to the Dreaming City. Stasis is kinetic. Return, so it'll be a kinetic linear uh, trace rifle or something. But the Hive God of War, Zivu Wrath, has reemerged and has Guardians and Mara in her sights. Guardians must forge a path through the Ascendant Plane to save Mars' lost coven of witches before Zivu Wrath can reach them. And to aid you in this task, you'll have the Wayfinder's Compass. The time is at hand. The beacon is shining bright. And the the Wayfinder's Compass. New artifact? It's an ancient awoken artifact that gives the wielder the power to uncover pathways that thing there. and treasures within the Ascendant Plane. There's a plethora of new weapons Yo, coming, rifle, including a suite on. of legendary stasis guns that will stop your enemies cold. Looks like a 180 the stasis armor hand makes cannon. You feel like you're a member of Queen Mars Court. And no season is complete without new exotics. And season one features RPM one sword once confirmed. intended for Aldrin. Look at that thing! Let's take a moment to talk about Trials. So Trials of Osiris is the in-game aspirational PvP activity and more popular than ever. Two of the biggest asks from our community have been adding anti-cheat and adding matchmaking. In Season of the Lost, we're doing both. We've partnered with BattleEye to soft launch the anti-cheat software when Trials goes live on September 10th. Also, you'll be able to September matchmake with groups trials. of players to form fire no trials or solo 10. queue by yourself. And we've remixed how rewards are distributed to give all players the opportunity to earn some of the best weapons and coolest armor in the game. Match That's right. We're shifting solo away queue. from winning matches as a primary way to earn loot, and instead, winning individual rounds and completing matches will allow you to earn some rewards. But going flawless hasn't changed. So if you want to flex those PvP skills, the flawless chest will still be the only place to earn adept trials weapons and unique cosmetics. All right, so the next chapter in Destiny begins right after this stream with Season of the Lost. Return to the Dreaming City with Marisov and learn the mystic art of wayfinding. I'm so excited Crossplay is going live today. And today is your first opportunity to jump into Destiny yes! with friends on any platform from all over yes! the world playing together. I said they could do it! <laughs> Crossplay today! Let's fucking go! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually ready to cry. <laughs> ah.
Pay for anniversary. Actually, way cry right now. <laughs> Got tears in my eyes. As a company that prides itself on taking care of its employees and, and their significant others and their communities and those who are in need. It's pretty devastating as we look at the racism in America and uh, our intention is to do better and to leave the world in a better place. We want to be a part of that social change. Fuck racism. We don't just no, stop no, with the games No, no, that's Witch that Queen make, Iron Fan. We really utilize the successes that we've seen to be able to give back <laughs> in an even from capacity Oddbog. that spans beyond uh, just the gaming industry. Thank you, Foundation. Thank you. Pressing button. We're live! <laughs> <laughs> Destiny servers in line. This adventure has begun. It's awesome to have you here. Bungie, Bungie, Bungie. This game is going to single-handedly destroy my social life, and I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's speaking truth. <laughs> Imagine that dude was running like that. <laughs> Guardian, time to kick him where it hurts. He got a point. That's only again. Right, change the great clan. The clan is for everyone. <laughs> Bomb. Galahor. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. <laughs> you played on it. I never played on it. I remember on play it was out on PlayStation though. <sighs> How do you follow that? Wow. 30 years. And I, I, I remember when Halo first launched and my friends and I More played the entire campaign for in a single epic play session. And as the credits rolled, I knew that, that Bungie had transformed console gaming forever. And I can't believe I wasn't a crossplay today. Yeah, it changed how we played games too. I remember getting together with friends for Halo weekend LAN parties. We had so much fun. And 30 years of Bungie games is something special. It's something worth celebrating yes. together. So we're going to have a party in Destiny 2. Starting this December, we are launching the Bungie 30th anniversary celebration in Destiny 2. Free for all players, the 30th anniversary celebration will offer a new six player match made activity secrets to unravel, and rewards that commemorate our long and storied history together. And that's just the beginning. In addition to the free event, players can also purchase the Bungie 30th Anniversary Pack that includes a new treasure-themed three-player dungeon set on the Cosmodrome within the fabled Loot Cave. A new dungeon? Players will plunder its depths to discover an exciting new Thorm-inspired armor set and fan-favorite Destiny 1 weapons like Isa Luna and Thousand Yards. Isa Luna! And even has a Flame Sword from Myth. Purchasing the pack unlocks a range of awesome <laughs> bungee themed armor ornaments and cosmetics to collect, including ornament sets inspired by the bungee 30th anniversary celebration <laughs> and marathon. But the dungeon holds one more secret. The crown jewel of its weaponry is a Destiny 1 <laughs> classic. Galahorn is making its long awaited debut in Destiny 2. You're kidding me! We're gonna take its iconic You're fucking kidding me! Galley has been carefully updated for the Destiny 2 sandbox. So, this December, join your friends and collect exclusive rewards during the Bungie 30th Anniversary Celebration. But the party isn't only happening in Destiny 2. We've partnered with Nerf Limited to create a functional, firing Galahorn. Stop it! We'll have more on that soon. 
And that's not all. Here's a look at some of the incredible loot we've made over the years. I just Luna, I seen Place in Yards there, Galahorn. <laughs> Wow, Lorraine, I can't believe we're celebrating Bungie's 30th anniversary. It's carefully it's tuned incredible. for his Destiny yeah, 2 look, debut. Look at all the games and products that have come out over these years. Yeah, starting Operation Desert Storm, Pathways into Darkness, <laughs> Marathon, Myth, Omi, Halo, and Destiny. Seven years of Destiny. Wait, it's an amazing journey. Functional so excited. You know, we have a lot of really cool stuff coming up and a lot of other things in the works, of course, as always. But, yeah. I mean, what do we have? We have the Fallen Captain statue, which is incredible. And then we have the helmet, the Celestial Knight That thing helmet. is so cool. Yeah. And uh, my favorite, the Arcadia jump ship. Yeah, I get goosebumps just thinking about that. You know, it really gives me that nostalgia from Destiny 1. And so ben I think it's a great way to, we're going to celebrate not only Bungie's 30-year heritage, but Can the I get seven the year and wet heritage of Destiny. Yeah. And it definitely gives we'll you the feels. Look at all this clobber, man. Slice the Nighthawk. Nice. Thank you for being on this journey with us, whether it started this year or 30 years ago. We've just started talking about the Witch Queen today. You've got our first peek at weapon crafting, our definitively Destiny campaign, the Glaive, and a year full of updates to all our light-based subclasses. All of this and more is coming alongside Savathun's long-awaited arrival front and center to the Destiny universe. The Witch Queen marks an acceleration in our story heading towards the conclusion of the Light and Dark Saga, and we're so excited for everyone to join us on this epic adventure in the Witch Queen, Lightfall, the final shape, and beyond. And the Witch Queen's gonna kick off another amazing year of Destiny with four great seasons, packed with all of the narrative events and rewards that you've come to expect from us. But <laughs> there's even power. more coming next year than just our new seasons. You read? The deluxe edition of the Witch Queen will also include two brand new dungeons to be released in 2022. Two dungeons and we're of also going to be remastering another classic Destiny 1 raid and releasing it free for all players. This means going forward, starting this December with our 30th anniversary event, there will be a new piece of raid or dungeon content in the game every three months. In 2022, we will also months. be adding legacy rotations for raids and dungeons, meaning every week, there will be new ways to earn rewards in both the latest and greatest content and raids and dungeons from the past. If you love amazing in-game content, we want to prove that no other game offers more quality and more variety than Destiny 2. Rotational legacy raids. that you've enjoyed a look in the future of Destiny 2. Witch Queen pre-orders are available wherever you play Destiny. Crossplay is live on all devices. And Season of the Loft kicks off today. See you in game. That's a lot of content, dude. They've been increasing their roster. <laughs> you beat my deck. Little light. What is your truth now? The witch queen is no less dangerous now than she has ever been. Prepare for what is inevitably to come. Finish him. Thank you, Bungie.